Rogue 09, Sacramento. Please respond to a medical call. Patient complains of shortness of breath, possible allergic reaction. Sacramento, Rogue 09, responding. You should be arriving in about seven minutes. I have my appropriate PPE gear, including gloves and a mask. I may also consider glasses or a gown. It appears that the scene is safe. It looks like we have a nature of illness. I see only one patient. Um, I'm going to request a ALS backup. And then because our patient is sitting upright without apparent pain in the neck, there's no need to consider stabilization of the C-spine. So my general impression of the patient is it looks like we have a teenage girl sitting in a tripod position, having difficulty breathing. Her breathing looks to be rapid and shallow. And so we'll begin our assessment. Hi there, my name is Gil. I'm an EMT. Is it okay if we help you out today? Sure. Okay, uh, what's your name? Uh, Gwen. Gwen, okay, Gwen, how old are you? 16. Okay, and I'm just gonna ask you a few questions to assess your mental status, okay? Do you know uh, what day of the week it is? Friday. Do you know what year it is? 2020. Okay, and who is the President of the United States? Donald Trump. And then how many quarters are in a dollar? Four. Okay, good job. So why did you call the ambulance today? I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And, and I'm allergic to peanuts. And are you having difficulty breathing? Okay, so we've determined that the chief complaint is difficulty breathing. And so now I'm going to begin my ABC assessment. And so um, the patient has a uncompromised airway. She can talk and she appears to be breathing herself while her breathing is labored. It's also very rapid and shallow. And so uh, and I'm also going to begin my assessment for her oxygen saturation. So, okay, Gwen, I'm just going to place this little device on your finger, and this is going to measure how much oxygen is in your blood, okay? Okay, so the patient has a SpO2 rating of 93, and so we're going to begin our um, oxygen therapy and so what I'll do is initiate through a nasal cannula um, oxygen at a rate of four liters per minute and so we're just gonna leave this here and then I'm going to um, go ahead and assess your circulation so I'm gonna go ahead and feel your pulse patient has a weak and rapid pulse um, Going to assess the capillary refill. Cap refill is adequate. Going to assess temperature, condition, and appearance of the skin. Um, skin appeals to be slightly pale, um, a bit moist, um, and a slightly hot temperature. And so we've determined. The most apparent life threat is the swelling and closure of the airway as the patient is having difficulty breathing. Um, I suspect that the patient is going into anaphylaxis and so um, she's showing the signs and symptoms that will lead me to want to administer um, possibly epinephrine. And so Gwen, are you allergic to anything? Uh, peanuts, pineapple, dogs. Okay, and do you have any medicine? take care of that. Like I an have EpiPen? an EpiPen, yes. Okay, so let's go get the EpiPen. Um, um, can I see that? Okay, so this is the EpiPen. And so now we're going to prepare an assisted administration of the EpiPen. And so we're going to go through our six rights. And so we have the right patient. This is Gwen, the right medicine, epinephrine, the right dose, 0.3 milliliters, 
um, the right time, which is right now, uh, the right uh, route, which will be intramuscularly into the thigh, and then the right documentation, which we will put on our PCR. And so we're going to administer right here. Okay, go on. I'm going to be um, giving you this at kind of it's going to be like a sharp prick, okay? And so. And we're going to hold it here for about 10 seconds. Okay, we've released. And now we're going to massage the area of injection for about 10 seconds as well to let the medicine make its way into the body. Okay, so we've done our intervention and now we're going to be um, going into our transport transportation, we'll be going code three to the nearest hospital. Okay, so now we're going to move into our uh, history taking section. And so, Gwen, I just have a few questions for you. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, what what what's happening here, and when when did this start happening to you? Like ten minutes ago. Okay. And so you're having difficulty breathing, correct? Yes. Are you experiencing any other? signs or symptoms that, that I should know about, like maybe you're feeling nauseous or very cold, very hot, sweaty, and... No, um, it's just hard to breathe. Hard to breathe? Okay. I see you're breathing quite fast, um, very shallow as well. Um, is there anything that makes your condition better or worse? Um, well, leaning forward helps, but probably moving around is not good. Okay. Uh, can you describe the feeling that, that you feel when you're um, inability to breathe? My throat is like fuzzy and it's, it's uncomfortable and I feel like it's closing up. Okay, hopefully that epinephrine will be helping soon. Mm -hmm. um, would you say it's spreading anywhere, maybe getting better or worse? Well, I think it's getting better because of the epipen. Okay. And on a scale of zero to ten, with zero being absolutely nothing, and ten being the worst you've ever felt, how would you describe your condition right now? Like a four or five. Okay. And how long have you been feeling this way with your difficulty breathing? Like seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay, um, and so we, we talked about allergies a little bit. Um, you said you're allergic to peanut butter. Um, anything else? Dogs, pineapple. Okay, and take any medicine. I see we have your epinephrine. Any other medicine I should know about? Mm, I have an albuterol inhaler. Okay. And has anything like this ever happened before? Has you ever had a allergic reaction in the past? Uh, many, many years ago, like when I was three. Three? Okay, mm -hmm. so 13 years ago, is that yeah. right? Okay. And it looks like the sandwich was the last thing you ate? Yes. Okay. And then what were you doing before you ate the sandwich? Studying. Okay, so we're now going to begin our secondary assessment um, because our patient is complaining of respiratory conditions, difficulty breathing. Um, we're going to be assessing the patient's pulmonary system. And so what I'm going to do for that is check for lung sounds. And so I have my stethoscope here. Okay, Gwen, well, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your breaths, okay? Um, so go ahead and um, breathe in and breathe out when I tell you to do so. All right. Okay. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and lift this arm up, breathe in, breathe out, 
Okay. This one next. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so her lung sounds are equal. I hear a sound in both lungs, but I do hear a bit of wheezing in the lungs. And so that would be expected since we're having a allergic reaction. And so next we're going to get a blood pressure and start taking our set of vitals. And so go ahead and re re relax your arm, just like this. And I'm gonna take a quick blood pressure for you. Okay, so we're going to record a high blood pressure, um, about 132 over 82. Um, and so next I'm going to take a pulse. So go ahead and relax your arm. Just gonna feel your wrist for a sec. Okay, so we have a quite rapid pulse of about 124 beats per minute. And I also took her respiratory rate and it's going to be um, 24 breaths per minute. Okay, so our field impression of the patient, we have a 16 year old female um, who I believe is um, experiencing a severe allergic reaction and possibly even anaphylaxis after consuming peanut butter, which the patient is allergic to. Um, intervention include our delivery of oxygen through a nasal cannula at four liters per minute. Um, and then we also administered an EpiPen that was prescribed to the patient um, intramuscularly. Um, reassessment, we're going to reassess the patient every five minutes because of the severe um, condition she's in and we'll be looking for improvements in her respiratory rates, respiratory um, condition, how adequate her ventilations are, um, and also an increase in her SpO2 reading. Okay, we've arrived at the hospital and so now I'll give off my handoff report to someone of equal or higher care. 
and so um, this is our nurse and so um, our patient her name is Gwen she is 16 years old and she called us today because of difficulty breathing um, she ate a peanut butter sandwich and she happens to be allergic to peanut butter and so um, at the scene we intervened by giving her four liters of oxygen per minute through a nasal cannula and we also gave her a prescribed dose of epinephrine into her thigh. Um, her vitals are, um, SPO2 was 93, her pulse was 124, respiratory rate is 24, blood pressure is 138 over 82, and then after reassessment every five minutes, we saw that her conditions increased and her vitals tend to go down a bit. Do you have any questions? No, I got it.